My name is Promise Filon. I'm the CEO of Tap Influence. I was introduced to the FLG partnership through a young man uh, named John Hagedorn. I'm sure you all know him. He's an accomplished CFO, uh, former senior finance leader at Intel. And I met him about four years ago, and he was an advisor to a company that I had founded. He was a phenomenal advisor, coach, consultant, and mentor. And I was introduced to a group of financial leaders who had been CFOs of public companies and who had helped organizations reach IPO um, financing, um, exits, mergers, and what have you. And I was really intrigued by the team. About two and a half years ago, I took over as CEO of a company called Tap Influence based in Boulder, and it was um, kind of a lifestyle company, and I was brought in by the board and the venture investors to turn the company around, get into rapid growth, but the hardest part was to rethink the company's business model and revenue model. And when I started, uh, it seemed kind of insurmountable in the time frame we had to do it. We had about three quarters to not only get to growth, um, but also to move from a services business to a software as a service business. And as you know, those gross margins are about three orders of magnitude different. And uh, I reached out to Jeff Kuhn uh, at the FLG group and asked, hey, I need a senior strategic CFO to come in and do three things for me. One is to help prepare the organization for financing. Two, to help educate the organization with me on what it meant to be a SaaS company. And third, support a financing process. So um, from April of 2015 to December of 2015, we did that. We grew about 300%, and uh, we got to work with the incredible Ken Chow, and he came in and was a phenomenal partner. So we re-educated the board, we redid the strategy, we rethought the pricing and packaging and delivery model and revenue model, and rolled that out in a matter of weeks. And um, Ken helped us within three quarters uh, grow about 300% with my support. Um, and also raise a round that was about 4x higher than the post of the last round. So if you're a CEO, you can imagine how important that is. But it was, it was the, the unknown things and kind of the things you don't see that was incredible about Ken. And we were having days where we were going through a lot of VC pitches. He was a great partner and sounding board. Um, he was also someone that I trusted to talk to investors and manage the diligence process and then work with my board to update them on where the business was. He's trusted. He was a partner. He got the strategy. And I would say he probably worked at least a dozen uh, all-nighters with me. And so I really feel like one of the things that I love about FL LG is they bet on talent as John did you know four years ago on me but also they are able to come in and really support CEOs and support the mission even if it seems impossible.